Hey everyone, how's it going? This is gonna be a quick video on unboxing and checking out the new iPad mini 6th generation. Let's get into it. Alright, so this was announced, I believe, about a week or so ago, the same day that the, um, the iPhone 3, uh, 13 was announced and um, it's actually really small in person but they said since it's an all screen design and this is the pink one by the way I want to make sure this is on camera um, it doesn't actually look very pinkish it's more like silvery white or maybe it's my lighting here but I'm having a hard time determining if this is pink or not. Um, um, actually, I chose this because all the other colors, I wanted the purple one or the space gray, but all the other colors were sold out for the 256 gigabyte one. All right, so let's just first see what's in the box. Designed by Apple. You have your charger and USB-C cable. All right, we are finally on, and let's see if they actually ship this out with iOS 15. Yep, there it is, iOS 15, but I see an update. Um, we'll do that later on. And here we go. Let me see how bright it is on the screen. This is actually not even on the highest brightness. It's going to look, it might look blown out on camera, so I'm trying to make sure that we don't get to that point so essentially it's an iPad everything is snappy um, and of course the biggest changes are the larger screen um, I don't have a an older iPad mini to compare this to I wish I did but I do have this alright so we have the iPad Pro 12.9 and here is the, the new iPad mini and as you can see, two of these pretty much will cover one up to 12.9 inch. And it's actually a bit bigger because there's about a one inch gap right here at the bottom. And just to show you how, and this is how it would look horizontally. Just to show you how amazing that is or how small this device is. This is the iPad Pro 12.9 second generation. This is the iPad Pro um, 12.9, I believe, uh, 2018 or 2019 version. This is not the one with the M1. And then this is the new iPad mini. Um, right here. So. It got, it, things have gotten smaller and smaller and this is 8.3 inch diagonally um, and so far I'm liking the feel of it you know hold it with one hand and feels like a Kindle more than an iPad to be honest so for what it's worth you can now do 4k 60 on an iPad mini and I guess this is easier to take videos with than the big bulky one because that one looks really awkward to do in public. And oh, I forgot to compare one more item. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'll do it from this corner. Thanks for bearing with me. All right, so this is actually just supposed to be an overview, right? So um, going back to the iPad mini, the feel of it, it's really light. Um, the edges are straight and flat now. So you could technically um, have an easier time standing this up. Um, and then there's the back. And what else? Oh yeah, it has one, two, three four speakers now so back then 
if you were an OG iPad owner or iPad mini owner, you would cup your hand right here just to get the sound to, uh, to the, just to divert the sound towards you, right? And they even came out with a whole bunch of different uh, gadgets to try to have that surround, um, stereo sound for the iPad, um, but no more. And we will test that out by like, no copyright music. I always get flagged for these type of things. So we're doing royalty free mu uh, music and let's check it out. This is also not on the YouTube app. This is just on Safari. So I'm not sure if that makes any difference in audio quality. So that was the audio quality. All right, let's check out a 4K um, clip. And I don't even think it's gonna show 4K um, without going on the actual app. But I just wanted to show the uh, aspect ratio of 16 to nine videos on here um, because that was the biggest concern besides the speakers that I had with the, um, the old iPad mini, meaning it would only show, you know, right there in the center and there'd be a big chunky black bar at the top and bottom. So here we are, it even shows an HDR, by the way. Um, and this is everyone's go-to 4K video on YouTube. Um, I don't wanna get flagged for royalty uh, fees here, so. This is really, really nice um, on this screen. It's very vibrant and it's not even running at 4K. So let's see, let's see how it looks on 4K. So it's in HDR, I'm running it on 4K. The mini doesn't have a 4K screen, but as you can see, the quality is really, really nice. And let me see if I can get this closer to the camera. So if you're scared of spiders, look away now. All right, one more thing that I will add, these tablets are not budget friendly and we all know that. That's why it's uh, good to have, let me push you over real quick, a protection cover. And this is actually just from Amazon. Um, and as you can see, it's made perfectly for the tablet, has the right cutouts even has this magnetic um, attachment for the folio cover and let me just attach it boom you have yourself a stand and these things, I normally would hold this as my little grip right here. Um, but you could do that this way, this way, have it like that. And of course, the one thing that I forgot to mention is this thing can have the Apple Pencil um, attached to it. So magnetic this is the second generation and as you can see it actually already um, connected to it all right they've really updated this tablet to be an all-rounder um, I just downloaded the YouTube app so we can watch everything without any um, UI on there this is on HDR and this is one of those LG o OLED demo tests but you can see it looks really nice even on this screen and of course, like I said, it does support Apple Pencil now and it has that magnetic capability. Um, so this tablet, 
iPad Mini 6 Gen has been a huge, huge upgrade compared to the fifth generation one from two years ago. So um, props to Apple. They did a really good job upgrading this. And if anything, this upgrade has should have happened many years ago, but it's here now and it's good to have it. Um, I'm just going to let the rest of this play and as you can see colors are really vibrant and as I'm showing this to you guys hopefully the camera is picking up a lot of these colors well. Um, thanks for watching again and see you in the next one.